What's up ladies? So we're throwing down some drums. I'm gonna talk a little about sound selection in this video too. Um, so I got the Apollo Dirt in the Cracks, like $25 kit. Uh, so I'm trying to get like a pure hip hop vibe with this thing. And uh, that's pretty much the route that we're going. So I picked sounds all from the same kit. And um, yeah, it's kind of like, basically what I want to say was like, it's basically shaping the beat. Like, so by getting, by catching the Apollo drum vibe, that's kind of where the direction is headed. If you listen to the melody, it could be like an R&B track. In fact, I'll play like the lyrics. Kind of has like a maybe chiller, like come up R&B vibe. Swear I'll be on it, I'm gonna swear I'll be on it. This is just like a sample out there, right? I'm not really a rapper, but anyway. So uh, let's get to it, let's do these drums. And I'm just kind of like, one, one thing I also like to do is I'm trying to visualize the whole drum pattern in my head before I even do it. So like, in fact, let's play the lyrics again. So like, seems reasonable. Yeah, give me a moment, please. Give me a moment, I'm gonna swear. We're gonna have to probably shape this a little bit. We just know that this is like kind of hitting like that. Give me a moment. I'm gonna swear. The unfortunate part is okay. It does go the whole part. Give me a moment. It's okay. Yeah. Give me a moment. Very nice. Give me a moment. I'm gonna swear. I'm gonna swear. I would actually like it to go the whole sixteen or nine rather. We got to shape this a little bit. Make it more like a sound. So we could just do that. Nothing too crazy, you know. Give me a moment, I'm gonna swear I'll be on it. I'm gonna swear I'll be on it. Give me a moment, I'm gonna swear I'll be on it. I'm gonna swear I'll be on it. Give me a moment, I'm gonna swear I'll be on it. I'm gonna swear I'll be on it. Give me a moment for me. Yeah, give me a moment for me. <laughs> just went all in with the down parts. All in. Opens, maybe turn down to tad too. Give me a moment, I'm gonna swear I'll be on it, I'm gonna swear I'll be on it. Give me a moment for me. Yeah, give me a moment, please. Give me a moment, I'm gonna swear I'll be on it. I'm gonna swear I'll be on it. I like the intro coming in like that. That was actually hot. I'm gonna swear I'll be on it. I'm gonna swear I'll be on it. Alright, so this is in like, who knows what. Play with the velocities. Give me a moment. I'm a swear I'll be on it. I'm a swear I'll be on it. Uh, we want it kind of like before it hits. Okay. Nothing wrong with what's going on now. Notice how also I just take my time. Like, Treat your beats. Have some respect with your beats, man. Might as well just manually record it because like it's just gonna be difficult. It's also let's like save. I'm gonna save after this. Give me a moment, I'm swear be on it, I'm swear be on it. Give me a moment, I'm swear be on it, I'm swear be on it. Give me a moment, I'm swear be on it, I'm swear be on it. Give me a moment, yeah, give me a moment. We could have switched it up too a little bit. Instead of making it so generic. I 
nothing wrong with that. A little bit of, a little bit of flat. And then again, like, yeah, get that volume right. Give me a moment. I'm sweat. See where it sits. Maybe not. Yeah, give me a moment, please. Save. Give me a moment. I'm sweating. Uh, sounds good. Swear be on it. I'm swear be on it. Give me a moment. Okay. Um. Let's get to the raw pot. We also don't have a bass, which we need a bass. Give me a moment. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I have like a separate bass. File, so I'm gonna go through and do the bass last, bro. Let's do the kick snare. Hopefully, I picked a snare that makes sense. Otherwise, we'll probably have to shape some. That just rides, so let's just do that. Give me a moment, I'm sweating. You notice how I'm hitting B instead of C? That was clutch. Usually does it right. See if we can find a better cake. Crazy. Give me a moment, I'm Wow, 
save it here before you start doing too much with the drums. And kick. This is a very sensitive part of the beat. Also, like a quiet kick, there's nothing wrong with it. If you want to up us, up the velocity just a tad. I'm trying to make sure the snare is hitting hard too. A harder snare just emphasizes like this is. Trust me, the snare is like key with the rap beats. Like listen to it now. Makes you want to turn the volume up a little. The snare is like the energy. Now we're gonna cover mixing a little bit. Let's do Give me a moment. maybe a little, little bit of 808 or bass. Let me pick a bass somewhere. So real quick, we do have. Let me make sure I'm recording. Okay, real quick, we do have like this bass. I'm gonna just try to record the best I can. What? Whoops. Give me a moment. I'm sweating. Seven. I'm best I can. Yeah. Immediately screws up. Wise, we'll get to that. Let me pick a rim shot now, actually. Time out. Okay, you know what? No rim shot. JK. Okay, so let's get into the mixing. First of all, let's let's do this kick. Uh, put limiter. We're doing some side chaining. So the side chain. If you don't know how, check one of the videos. But like side chain the kick to the 808. So then the limiter. Turn the threshold down. Just have it. Make sure the with the kick to and there's 808 not to interfere too much. We mess with the threshold. Threshold and the uh, ratio to sounds really good. See how the kick's like kind of cutting through it? It's 
pretty much already EQ'd. There's also like the Convolver. a little bit so in the mix channel just put the pretty clipper on That's how you do drums in FL Studio 20, guys. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs>